class, class, settle, settle, everyone, settle. Take your seats, take your seats. We're gonna do roll in just a minute. No gum chewing, no eating or drinking in my class. Yeah, you. You know, you know who you are. The one who left a half filled soda can underneath the chair last week. That's why nobody can eat or drink in class. That's why we can't have nice things. Welcome to Student of the Gun University. For those of you who have never been here before, my name is Professor Paul Markle, and I'm going to be your instructor today. Step number one, sign in. Where are you on planet Earth? Over there on the Facebook camera, where are you on planet Earth? We want to know. Step number two, share this with at least one person. You know there's one person in your life that could use this information in addition to you. Don't be selfish. All right. How are we doing back there, uh, Jared, the di digital mastermind? We're okay. You're making weird faces. Yeah, the, the YouTube thing is not working. The YouTube thing's not working? Is the Facebook thing working? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Facebook's working just fine? All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I know you're always curious. What am I drinking out of today? Well, I'm drinking out of my, my yingling cup that was a gift to me. I know I did last week, too. I only have so many cups. I can't pick out a new one. But I do like coffee cups. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Mmm. <laughs> Jared, before we begin, you want to go ahead and shut the AC off so that that noise doesn't bother the audience at home? Yeah. Thank you, everyone, who joined us last week. We truly appreciate it. Uh, thank you, everyone, who's joining us this morning. And if this is not live to you, I will tell you this, that it was live on the 15th, right? Today the 15th? Yes. On August 15th, 2016. I know many of you are catching up later, but for those of you who are live, good job. Mm. What is going on in the world today? Well... There's a lot going on in the world today, and many people today are frustrated, angry. You feel like the world around you, because you pay attention, because you actually care, you're not out just hunting Pokemon or uh, playing Candy Crush or whatever, you actually care about the world around you. And because you care, you're frustrated. And you look around and you see things that are not right. You see corruption in government. You see thugs just burning down. Oh, what, what happened this weekend? Oh, well, let's see. For those of you that missed it, police officers in Milwaukee. That was close. That was Jared. <laughs> Mongo big feet. Mongo big feet, not camera over. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's what you get with live. Yeah, welcome to live. Welcome to live. So police officers in Milwaukee initiated a traffic stop. In the car were a couple of thugs. You're like, hey, that's it's kind of presumptu presumptuous and racist of you there, Paul. Well, I'm calling them thugs based upon their behavior, both their past behavior and their current behavior. So they get out and run. The police chase them. One of the thugs points a gun at police officers. Police officer shoots thug. Thug expires. What do they discover? Well, did the thug go to the local academy outdoors or his favorite, uh, his favorite outdoor gun shop and fill out a 4473 and buy himself a gun and go to the range of practice? No. He was pointing a stolen gun at the police officer. Well, now he's worm food. Win-win, right? We've got a criminal who's no longer a criminal because he's dead. And the person with, who had the gun stolen from him eventually will probably get their property back. Oh, no. No, that's ARTR, any reason to riot. So the thug element in Milwaukee decides we're going to riot and burn down businesses and attack people driving down the street for no reason. That is the world we're living in. And because of that, you see that, you read it, you, you see your Facebook posts and notifications and the news, and you're frustrated. And you mention it to people at work or in your peer groups or whatever, and they're kind of like, hmm, hmm. And they don't seem to care. Frustration. This is a 
This is what happens when you pay attention to the news, when you realize that things in your world are going poorly, that, like I said, corruption, violence, theft, Muslim missionaries chopping people's heads off, attacking them on trains, blowing stuff up. You're frustrated because you feel like you're the only one that cares. You feel like, am I the only one in the world that gives a crap about this? And so you end up, this is what you do. You say, all right, well, I'm going to prepare. I'm going to go to the range. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to get that. But what do you end up doing? You end up carrying the entire burden on your own shoulders. You're, you're frustrated, you're angry, and you go out and you, you try to do something. You say, I, I need to do something. But what do you do? You end up shouldering that burden all by yourself. And that load feels like it's going to crush you, doesn't it? You know it's true. How can we alleviate some of that burden? Well, you see this right here, Patriot Fire Team? Do you notice how I erased it correctly so as not to sexually stimulate the audience there? I did that. Patriot Fire Team, if you've been with us a while, uh, especially if you're, if you're uh, you know, seasoned grad program people, you know what the Patriot Fire Team is, and you know that Jared and I came up with this concept a couple of years ago, actually. And we actually wrote an initial manuscript, and that's out there now. But... For those of you that are new, and for those of you who are seasoned, you, you already know about it, what's important about this video? That you can share it with people who don't know about it, so Professor Paul can explain it to them, right? Okay. We're looking for LMIs. LMIs? What's an LMI? That's a new one to me. Uh, Like-minded individuals. The Patriot Fire Team is as simple as this. It's for like-minded individuals, people who actually give a crap, people who know that things aren't right in the world, and that if we just sit here and wait for it to be fixed from the top down, it's not going to happen because that's what we've been doing for the last 10 to 20 years is waiting for the top to fix things so that we don't have to do it so that we can watch our football and play our games and catch our Pokemon and so forth. It's not happening. And you realize it, you understand it, you're frustrated. You shouldn't have to shoulder that burden all alone. Like-minded individuals, that's who you're looking for. Share the burden. Just sit down and have a beer or a coffee or whatever with like-minded individuals and talk about it. You'd be amazed at how much better you will feel. All right. Now, after you have found all these like-minded individuals, you say, okay, great, Paul. Three, four guys, girls, whatever. We got together and we, we kind of hashed things out. We said, yeah, we're all, we're all tracking five by five. You know, we're all on the same wavelength here. Great. But it doesn't do any good to just sit around the gun shop and talk about it. If we just sit around the gun shop or the coffee shop or the bar or whatever, we just sit here and we talk about it, that's really not doing anything. That's just the first step. And unfortunately, most people in the world, most gun culture individuals, that's all they do is they sit around, talk to each other and complain, and they never get any farther. So after you have, <clears throat> excuse me. After you've found these LMIs, these like-minded individuals, the next step is goal setting. What are your goals? Are we going to do something positive and proactive, or are we just going to sit around and complain? Now, sitting around and complaining, that can help you vent for a little bit, but at the end of the day, after you've complained and you go back home, what have you accomplished? Not much. I just complained. I vented. And don't get me wrong, venting is a good thing. Sometimes you just need to let it all out, and that's good. But you need to do more than that, because guess what? That frustration is going to be right back tomorrow and the next day. All that crap that you read about on the news or saw on the news and your news feed, whatever, it's going to be there tomorrow. So the next step and the thing that we're going to be going into uh, specifically tomorrow is after you've involved all those like-minded individuals, 
What are your goals? What are we going to do? And that is something we're going to discuss tomorrow, right here at 11 Central Daylight Time, live at Student of the Gun University. And in the meantime, if you feel like it, you can pop on over to PatriotFireTeam.com. Also, remember, I said it at the beginning, I'm going to say this again, tell us where you're at, check in, and share this video with at least one like-minded individual, or maybe somebody who you don't know whether they're a like-minded individual or not. But you share this with them, and then they come back to you and say, man, I watched that, and I really dug it. I'm digging five by five. So there you go. Now you just discovered a like-minded individual, and you're welcome. All right, Jared, do you want me to answer questions? or Yeah, Q&A session starts right. now. you got um, two minutes to ask the first question. Ready, set, go. Mm. Yummy, yummy. What is the symbology on the back of Professor Paul's shirt? I think the word you're searching for is symbolism. <laughs> and if you guys come back tomorrow... At 11, Central Daylight Time, Jared promises not to kick the tripod. So there you go. We're using a bigger tripod this mm. morning. It's a little bit... We're using a bigger tripod. I think you need a bigger tripod. Now what, what uh, Richard Dreyfus said, or uh, no, it wasn't Richard Dreyfus. It was actually... Who played the, who played the chief of police? Roy Scheider. Going to need a bigger boat. Or was it? Mm. Oh, now it's going to frustrate. Was it Roy Scheider's character or or Richard Dreyfuss' character in Jaws who said they're going to need a bigger boat? Oh, just so you hippies know, the glass case of emotion right over there, the silencer shop studio, uh, 10 minutes ago, or 15, I guess 15 minutes ago, we were actually in there making radio. I said goodbye and goodnight, walked out here, Turn the cameras on, and boom, we're ready to go. Woo! No questions? Uh, there's one. Mel says, uh, do you know the reason black Americans don't get involved in these types of groups? Hmm, I don't know that they don't. I say, I think that I've, I've seen some. Black man, Ken Blanchard, black man with a gun. You know Ken Blanchard? Yeah. You should look him up. If you guys don't, if you are a uh, person of African American descent, colored, black, whatever you want to refer to yourself as, or maybe you say I'm an American uh, with a dark pigment. Ken Blanchard, black man with a gun. He has a podcast, and I don't know if he's got a TV show or not. I think he might just have the, the radio show, but uh, check him out. Check out Ken Blanchard. And Ken Goody, I know a lot of you hippies out there know Corporal Goody, uh, tactical response alumni, USMC. I guess that's it. I guess nobody has any more questions. All right, no questions? I guess I answered all the questions. So what are we going to do? You guys are going to be back tomorrow morning at 11 Central Daylight Time. And in between then and now, you're going to share this post with a LMI, a like-minded individual.